Scorpio, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Say, <coughs> say there was no communication. Or say there was a breakup or a separation between you both here, okay? And this person was not willing to give you something stable or they were not willing to give you something uh, like commitment or if they were not willing to marry you or if they were married to you, they were wanting to separate or something like that. There is a huge change, okay, of how they view this connection. Something is very dusty and fated in this connection. <laughs> so I do feel something's changing in the way they view the connection, okay? So whatever it is, this is the destiny, this is the universe bringing a good opportunity, okay, for you guys and your relationship is changing. It is a very destiny and fated change, okay? Nothing like you can do anything about it here, but there is definitely a breaking of a repetitive cycle and um, the tables are turning in your favor here, okay? <clears throat> With the queen of pentacles here, they view you as if you're married to them, they view you as a spouse. If you're not married to them, then this person definitely sees you as marriage material. They want something long term with you. They want something committed with you. Okay. Uh, this you is very nurturing, very caring, uh, somebody who's very practical, very grounded. But they do want the entire package with you, is what I'm getting here. They see you as marriage material, by the way. <clears throat> so that's it's, it's like a very respectful energy that they have for you, okay? And all of a sudden, they've started changing things in their mind about you, okay? It's like this change out of all of a sudden, out of nowhere, okay? It's like, boom, the universe does something, brings some clarity to them, and they're like, okay, like, why not? I'd like to marry Scorpio. With the three of pentacles here, if this person was not putting in the work, okay, if it was a one-sided situation in the past year, now they want to put in the work. They want to try and make this relationship work out um, <clears throat> by learning more about you. Uh, I wouldn't say that this person wants to jump in <coughs> into a relationship with you, but they definitely want to learn more about you is what I'm getting here, okay? They want to work with you. They want to keep it very cordial, but they want to learn more about you. They want to know more about you. Like, let's let's talk, you know, like they, want, they are serious about you, but they want to take it uh, slow and steady, okay? <clears throat> However... The overall energy for how they view this connection is the devil here. So there is a very strong connection, a very strong pull. They feel you have some um, um, strong uh, influence on them. Okay, They feel they just can't let you go. They can't let you go here. Although they are trying to <clears throat> curb their uh, feelings. They're trying to tame their emotions for you. They're trying to hold on. They're trying to hold back. <clears throat> they're trying to control their emotions, their passion, their attraction towards you. It's like very fiery and very passionate, but they just can't. They just, they can't let you go. You're a Scorpio, right? Who wants to let go of a Scorpio? <clears throat> Once they know how a Scorpio loves, right? They can never let it go. <clears throat> how does this person feel for Scorpio from the 1st to the 10th of December? What are this person's feelings for Scorpio from the 1st to the 10th of December 2021? Wow! They view you as the Queen of Pentacles and they feel for you like the King of Pentacles. Wow! So this person definitely wants to marry you. <clears throat> they want to marry you. Now, uh, with the King of Pentacles here, uh, I do feel that this person here is very focused on their career, their goals. Uh, they could be the bread owner of the family. This could be a business owner. This could be someone here who's at a very top position, at a very big position, or a very high position in the society. Tradition, rules, uh, tradition actually is very important to them, okay, to a point where they can be pretty dogmatic here. So this person here could be someone, you know, who follows tradition to the T. <clears throat> they do wish to give you stability, okay, obviously, because if they view you as marriage material here, now they have a shift out here where they're like, okay, you know what, maybe I would want to marry Scorpio, you know, I want to marry Scorpio. But I do feel here this person kind of feels deep down here that uh, they are focused on their money, their goals, their career. But also at the same time here, this person also wants to be your spouse. So either you are, they want to marry you 
or uh, if you're already married to them, then they want to maintain the marriage. Okay. <clears throat> you're both coming off as very practical and grounded. With the star here, this person here, if you guys have had a breakup, they're healing and they're very optimistic. They're feeling very um, hopeful that things will work out between you both here. There is faith. There is hope. This is someone here who thinks they're in the positive direction. They feel something again. Something is destined, very fated, okay? And they do feel here that uh, <clears throat> they want to heal from this connection, okay? Heal, sorry, not heal from the connection. They want to heal from the breakup, okay? And they want to move towards you where they just feel that now things are going to go correct here, okay? But the star card is a beautiful card to get here. They put you in a pedestal here, okay? <coughs> With the seven of cups here, there's a lot of wishful thinking. For a few of you, this person may have a lot, of the, a lot of other options that they need to choose from, which is the best option for them. For the others of you, this is wishful thinking. They daydream about you. They keep thinking about you, what they want with you, okay? Illusions, dreams, uh, fantasies, etc. out here, okay? A lot of emotions for you. Very overwhelmed with what they want with you. But there's still procrastination here, okay? They're still at a halt here. They're still not making a realistic choice. What I mean by realistic choice is that they're still not making a choice to uh, narrow down their options about what they want or who they want and go ahead and take make that choice. It's, they're still in their head, okay? They're still playing those emotions and they're still in that fantasy world where they're not really making a choice yet, but they're still dreaming a lot about it, okay? Uh, procrastination is what I'd say. <clears throat> okay, so... Okay, that was a long break. Should I forgot where I was? <clears throat> so yeah, wishful thinking. Yeah, I think that's what I said. All right, what are this person's intentions towards Scorpio from the 1st to the 10th of December 2021? What are this person's intentions towards Scorpio? Just to let you know, I'm getting uh, delayed the third time. <laughs> okay, so too many delays. Too many frustrating delays out here between you guys. I'm just saying. It's a beautiful reading, but there are too many delays out here. Okay. Um, what are this person's intentions towards Scorpio from the 1st to the 10th of December 2021? What are this person's intentions towards Scorpio from the 1st to the 10th of December 2021? Okay, so uh, I do feel here, first of all, <coughs> this person is waiting for some changes, okay? They're making huge changes, huge alterations to the life here. I feel they're changing the way they think. They're changing their mindset, which we already got in the Wheel of Fortune here. There's something significantly changing in the way they think or the, uh, that they want to invest long term in this connection. That's for sure. That's one thing out here. Overall, in their intentions here, I feel this person wants to completely evolve this relationship and take things to the next level. So there's a new beginning, but a good new beginning where something toxic is ending and there is a brand new change coming in. Okay. In their intentions here. They want to stop what has been happening in the past. They want to stop a repetitive cycle. They want to stop a negative cycle. Okay. Uh, some things that have been going on for a while here, which is keeping your situation stuck here. They are at a crossroads here. I do feel more than crossroads here. This person is still avoiding making a decision here. Because whatever decision they need to make, it's going to be something which is going to be, um, it's going to make or break the situation. I feel you're dealing with someone here who refuses to make a choice. Okay. <clears throat> Why? Because they are the whole and sole decision maker. And whatever decision they make, they know that they bear the consequences, okay? If they choose to be with you, they bear the consequences and they have to fight the world for it probably. And if they choose to let you go, then uh, it's their responsibility where they completely let go, let you go with their own hands, okay? With the Ace of Cups, this person wants a brand new beginning with you, okay? They're emotionally overwhelmed, all right? And they have a lot of overflowing emotions for you, okay? So they want a new emotional cycle with you. They want a renewal in love with you is what I'm getting here. However... With the five of wands, yeah, I'm going to clarify that. The five of wands could be anything. They could be conflicted also. What's the five of wands? There could be external conflict or internal conflict, okay? What's the five of wands here? Something's going to be a struggle. Yeah, page of cups here. So I do feel that this person here is <clears throat> in their head about wanting to approach you. The thing that they're conflicted in their head is that they want a new cycle with you, but they're not sure about reaching out to you. They want to reach out to you, okay? But uh, reaching out to you is going to probably create too much drama between you both, A. Or there could be um, 
uh, other people involved in this okay who is stopping them from coming towards you i just feel it's internal conflict i just feel this person their head says something else their heart says something else okay so probably there's a storm between their logic and their emotions here is what i'm getting here but yeah they're not sure about uh, reaching out to you here so probably i feel in the 10th of december here there are chances they may not reach out to you because it's a struggle it's a struggle here okay so that struggle or they they kind of running away from drama is also what i'm getting here they're running away from conflict they're running away from confrontation is also what i'm getting here okay so that's what i have for you scorpio but too many delays overall i do feel that too many delays so you're going to have to wait a little bit more longer then you already have here okay but whatever the results the results i can't even talk the results are going to be amazing okay so for a lot of you i do feel there is absolute no communication or someone is stopping themselves from communicating with you you know there's that strong resistance okay from wanting to communicate with you which is exactly what we saw here in their intentions See, I can't even talk. I was fine all this way. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Scops. Hope this reading resonates, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye bye. Thanks. Bye bye. Thanks.